Good morning, everybody. Happy Motivation Monday. This is trainer Nick Marillo checking in with you guys. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I've last talked to you, so I'm excited here. Um, hopefully, everybody had a lot of fun yesterday at the Super Bowl. You know, wherever your watch parties were, whoever you were watching it with, um, great job to Mahomes and the Chiefs coming back there. Um, it was it was a fun game. I can't lie. You know, I was, I was pulling for the 49ers, but definitely was a fun game. Hopefully, you guys all had fun. Hopefully, you're awake this morning, ready to go, ready for uh, a new week, a uh, new set of challenges, and, 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 and getting going for this week and getting going for February now. So, for the quote this week, you create your opportunities by asking for them. Uh, by Patty Hansen. Guys, that so often, I mean, I run into so many brokers that are just afraid to just ask for the extra sale, right? What's the worst that can happen? They tell you, no, okay, you're in the same spot you were before, but how powerful it is just to ask and, and um, you know, how much we need to come over that in our own heads, that fear of um, just kind of putting ourselves out there um, and, and that mentality of what's the worst that can happen, right? So let's get started this morning, guys, um, on this week here, February 3rd, we're going to be getting started. So a few things to go over. We'll have a couple tips of the week for you guys. We will have our sales shout outs, our, our sales numbers for this past week. This week, I'm going to go over marketing yourself, the importance here of how to build your brand and how to market your brand so that you're not relying on just leads, right? Not relying on on just calling out all day on lead after lead, but how to get your phone ringing in yourself. Um, so very important here. Uh, it's really what separates uh, the, the normal agent from the great agent, right? And so just making sure that you're getting your name out there and getting your phone ringing as much as possible, especially... Now that we're not in open enrollment, uh, how to find those people that are out there looking for insurance because there's still a ton of people that are. And then, of course, at the end, we'll just go over how to get in touch with us here. So first tip of the week, guys, is hcpsales.com slash training, and that'll get you to our training calendar. So this lets you know what motivation Mondays we have coming up, what training events we have going on. So going over national general short term in the upcoming months, secured life training. As we get more trainings, this is constantly being updated as well. So just a good thing for you guys to dive into, to look at, uh, just to be aware of what's going on any given week here and upcoming. So uh, check that out. Look at that. The next thing to go over is hcpsales.com slash pre-recorded training videos. Each word there separated with a, a hyphen there. And now you'll see the image here is just a bunch of the Motivation Monday. So if you want to go back and uh, hear any of the trainings that we've done previously, but there's also product trainings from different carriers in there. There's quoted training. So how to get Go in and quote it if there's things you need in there. Just a whole bunch of different useful trainings for you guys that we're updating in there all the time. Um, so just a good resource if it's something you haven't looked at already. Dive in there, guys. A lot of great stuff in there if it's not something you're familiar with checking out. Okay. All right. With that being said, we are going to jump into our sales leaders for last week, the week of January 27th. So National General just came in heavy. I mean, we we're selling a ton of it. Uh, it really shows that the market's kind of reacting really well to the, the products and, and the kind of um, portfolio of products that National General has available to us out there right now. So uh, they were the big leader in short term for us uh, last week. Uh, the Foundation Health was a great limited med product Plan Enhancer continues to be our leader uh, in abstinence sales. And then I think kind of since we're just kind of keeping everything with National General, everyone's doing the critical illness there as well. Uh, 
Dental does consistently seem to be UHC. I'm seeing a lot of golden rule uh, with dental. So it uh, looks to be we're finding something in that product that we really enjoy uh, as that continues to be a, the leading area outside of National General. So um, that's just kind of what we're looking at. If you're selling that or not, kind of obviously ask around, see what everybody's doing and how they're doing it. But that looks to be where the market's going right now and where our leaders are for sure going with sales. Uh, for last week, our short-term medical sales leaders, Bill Cox, congrats, great job. Katia Santa Maria and Evan Tunis. So uh, great job there, guys. We had some huge numbers in the short term last week, uh, even end of January here. So it just shows there's still a big market for people looking to get health insurance right now. Uh, continue that, guys. Limited Med, we had Katya and then Dominique Madonna. Um, so those are great right there. We can see Katya's name a couple times on the list. And then Bill, he was the leader here in accident uh, with short term as well. Uh, and then Cody Rondazzo on the accident list. So great job, guys. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of names we see a lot of here. So continue to keep that up, guys. So this week, I'm diving into marketing yourself, right? Uh, now that it's, we call it the off season, right? Open enrollment is over. How can we be effective at marketing ourselves here? So the first thing that we really need to do when you're marketing yourself is we need to create a plan, right? Find that niche that you're going to go after, right? Now, creating a plan has so many levels to it, right? What is your brand? What are you going to push? What are you going to market? Who do you want to market to? Do you want to be um, the specialist for truck drivers? Do you want to be mom and pop grocery store owners, liquor store owners, gas stations? Um, find your niche. Do you want to go to hairstylists? Do you want to be the person that's just super involved in your city, right? And uh, you know, meet with all the business owners in your city and your city council and just helping out at all the little events that your city's you know, that your city does around uh, in different holidays and taking part in those events and just making sure that your name's there. But whatever it is, guys, creating a plan. There's so many ideas out there. But how do you get your name out there? And how do you that's gotta be part of your business that's ever evolving, right? is this marketing plan of just getting your name and your face in front of as many people as you can that's generating you as a friendly piece of business, okay? There's this rule that 50% or more of your business should come from you, meaning not from these leads that you're just dialing all day, right? Those are great, but you should be bringing yourself your own business, right? Everybody just thinks that they're just going to get this magical lead system that just has these golden leads that just have this amazing close rate and they're just going to keep falling on your desk and you're just going to keep hitting it and everything's going to be perfect. And it's just going to be this, you, you kind of hide in this corner at your office and you just sell your over the phone just all day, all day, all day. And that's a, a that's a part of what we need to do here, right? But part of this as well is getting yourself out there getting your name out there, being involved in your community, being involved in your city, um, trying to find different groups that you can be a part of, different ways, different things that you have interests in already, but how do you partner it with your business and, 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 and use that to your advantage so that you're bringing in a chunk of your business, okay? And then the, the biggest thing, like the whole thing of marketing for me here is to remember that you are your brand, right? When you are building your business, guys, you are your brand. Every person you come in contact with on a daily basis, when you're going through the Starbucks drive through in the morning, you are your brand, okay? How you interact with the people that are helping us on a day-to-day -day business, it also makes you think, take it a little bit further. Maybe instead of going to Starbucks every morning, maybe go to a local 
small business owned, mom and pop owned coffee shop in your town. Interacting with the people that own businesses in your community, spending your money on them so that you can have those meaningful conversations with them. They might open up their bulletin board for you, right? They might open up their countertop space for you, but they might even themselves buy from you, right? How do we change our perspective on what is our marketing, right? We are the brand. So when we are out just walking the streets of our town, we are our brand. We need to really live that, think that through. Uh, not enough people do. And if you're not taking advantage of every person you're coming in contact with and not being smart about what where you're spending your dollars, that can be marketing. Just what businesses you are choosing to spend your hard-earned dollars at. So very, very important, guys. Just different ways to think about this, okay? Jumping into different ways to think about it, I want to show you guys a marketing wheel here, right? So at first step on that marketing wheel kind of goes into branding, right? Creating your brand. What does your logo look like? What is something that you can put on a ton of different things? Obviously business card, but banners. What? How many websites can you get this on? Or how many events where you can put a banner up at uh, a city barbecue that's going on for 4th of July, right? Uh Different little events, if they do movies in the park on Fridays in the summer, how do you get involved in that? Can you do it the candy table? Can, something where you can put your banner up for the business just by helping out, right? But that all starts with building your brand and what's going to be an easy brand that people are going to look at, that they're going to remember, and that they're going to want to reach out to and call your business name shouldn't be difficult because if they won't remember how to look it up, going back to Google, you know, make something that's easy, that's memorable, that somebody, when they see that brand repeatedly over and over, it's easy for them to search. As well, that kind of goes into the website marketing. That's just, this, these are different branches and you don't need to do all of these, but obviously the more of these that you do, the more areas of this business that you can touch, the more success you're going to have, right? So if you can get a website built, if you can kind of put money aside to save up for building a brand and then a website that you can send people to, that's going to create power, right? Reviews and reputation is such a fun one, guys. Be the expert, right? So join Facebook groups, uh, different interest groups, right? Truck drivers groups, uh, golf groups, uh, business owners group, hairdressers groups, different things like this. Join your city's group or cities in your community, right? They all have groups on Facebook nowadays. And market yourself in those groups. Be the expert in that industry. Do Does anybody in this city, in the city of Portland, in that Facebook group, does anybody have any health insurance questions? I'm here. Be the one that can you can use it as a networking, but also where you can answer questions and be that one-stop knowledge stop. And that can be how you generate people coming to you, reaching out to you, trusting your brand, building that rapport, right? Post customer reviews on these groups on Facebook, right? Same thing with directories and citations. You can look up different group directories in your city, right? If you're trying to market towards groups, uh, if you're at churches, you know, being involved in churches, getting involved in the business groups at churches, um, looking those directories and networks up, business international groups, right? Video marketing is huge, and that's becoming more of a thing nowadays, right? Everybody's doing video marketing now. So uh, getting involved with programs that can, can do a little bit of that, uh, getting your face out there and instructional videos, helping people understand terminology that they don't know, posting those on social media, whether it be Facebook Live, Instagram, that kind of dives into the next one, right, of social media. How do we make sure that 
we are our brand on social media as well. And so that we are constantly the expert, making sure that we're sharing health insurance articles, right? Staying relevant, that people know what we do every day and that they're seeing that brand. And so they know that they can come to you when stuff comes up. Online and offline advertising, that's the huge one. Let me shoot, poll signs, small stuff, but that building your brand and helping around your city, getting banners up, getting your name out there in your city, easy stuff. And then repeat and referral, right? So as you start to help people, as people start to trust you, as your brand is the name in your city that you go to, you'll start building that repeat and referral business. So just huge different ways to kind of think about different areas that you can attack. And again, at some point, you'll be amazing at all of this, right? But find one, pick one to start with and dive in at it. And if it doesn't work, move on to the next one and keep trying and trying different ways to build your business. Branding is so important. And we talked about it. It was number one on our last piece there, right? You represent your brand at all times and not enough people are, are, are really putting enough care into that, right? So keep that going, that ACP brand, United Healthcare. It is the name brand, National General, everything that they do in the news, how well they pay their claims, right? How easy their website is, their mobile app, how fun are they to, to work with? How great is their customer service? Your brand works the same way, right? People are going to go online and look up everything about you. So how much content are you putting online that's helpful, that's useful, that's good? Share your own reviews, right? That kind of dives into the take pride and passion in your business, right? If you are selling health insurance, take pride in that. Push it. Be the expert of it, share about it at all times, and people will naturally come. You have fun with it. Make health insurance fun for everybody that follows your page. If you're taking pride and passion, this, people will gravitate towards you. They want to know about it from you, right? And so make your brand the go-to brand by being the one that's constantly relevant, constantly sharing some new health insurance, this, that, or the other, that you're constantly educating people and that you're being the one sharing those reviews, sharing different educational stuff out there through social media, through uh, YouTube, through all the different ways that we can get involved, involved in your city even. And then when you're helping out at that 4th of July barbecue at the, at the uh, movies in the park, people will come up to you and ask, hey, I have a family member that went through this. Hey, here's my business card. Tell them to get in contact with me. I'd be more than happy to look at their health insurance and how I can help them. And so we've kind of been throwing out a ton of creative ideas. But again, trade shows, chamber of commerce, go to trade shows. Maybe you don't even need to set up a booth there. But if you go to trade shows just as a business owner, meeting with other business owners of a certain type, getting their business card, exchanging business cards, and seeing how you can help each other. How can we drive business for each other, right? Chamber of Commerce meetings. Get Again, that's it's so huge to get involved in your city, and your city's constantly looking for volunteers. How can you volunteer, and then how can you take advantage of, with you volunteering, getting your name out there, right? Walk-in talks are big, and they take a ton of courage, guys. But Going up to business owners, you know, going into different businesses as yourself, a business owner, and really sharing in that, hey, how can we share with each other in business? How can I help your business succeed in the community? And in turn, can I, can you help my business by me helping you, right? And then be the expert, guys. And so that group and niche, right? That's why I love the community group and niche. Is there currently a health insurance expert or professional in your community? If not, be that guy. Maybe you need to go one city over and be it for that city, but whatever. Get involved. If it's a group, a truck driver's group, right? An auto mechanic shop, a hairdresser, whatever it is, 
get involved, find a group, find a niche. And then some final thoughts to wrap it up here, guys. Always be willing to try new things, right? If something's not working, don't be too stubborn to move on. And these two go hand in hand, right? Sometimes people just heard this idea that they really loved. Nick, I loved the way that you presented this idea and this is going to be it for me. But some people, it just, that idea for whatever reason, maybe in your city, maybe it's your personality, maybe it's how you present yourself. Sorry, sometimes we got to look at that. But don't be too stubborn that this idea made so much sense for you that you're going to beat your head into a wall if it's not working for you, right? Also, don't be too stubborn to move on and try something else. That comes with the always be willing to try new things, but don't get too caught up where you only want to try this one thing that you heard about. Keep finding, keep reinventing, keep trying new things. And then every interaction represents your business, right? And we talked about that so much here, but how do you make every little day-to-day -day interaction meaningful? If you're at the airport, having conversations, helping somebody find their way at an airport, your Uber ride, right, that you're taking, how are we having intentional conversations and in every interaction that we're, that we're doing represents our business. So how do we make sure that people know that? So hopefully you got a lot there, guys, on how to market yourself. It's so important in this business. It's such an important piece of what we do. So hopefully I was able to share a little bit with you guys and, and spark some new ideas there. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, reach out training at ahcpsales.com. You can also call agency services at 877-228-8773. Again, this was trainer Nick checking out with you guys. Uh, good luck this week. We're in the start of February now. Um, and let's kill it, guys. It's a short month here. So let's go out there and let's just slay. Mm -hmm.